Hi, in this video I'm looking at solving these two differential equations. Now if we look at these two equations, they're both of the form where we have the derivative dy dx is equal to some function g of y. So we actually have only y's in our right hand side. Now the way we approach these is that we take all of the stuff that's related to one variable to one side and all of the stuff that's related to the other variable to the other side. So I've got dy dx on this side. I can separate out the y and the x by multiplying both sides by dx. So I can get 8y dx. And now though I've got a y over here with an x, but I can divide both sides by y. And so I can have dy on y equals 8 dx. And so now to solve this equation, what I can do is I can now integrate both sides because I've only got y's on this side and only got x terms on this side. Now the integral of dy on y, well that's basically 1 on y dy, and so that integrates the ln of y, natural log, and if we integrate 8 with respect to x, well that's just 8, so it integrates to 8x. But we also need to remember that there's a constant plus c comes out of these integrations. So now, what I want to do, because my goal is to eventually just have y equals some function of x out of it by the end of it, so I need to isolate y on its own, but it's got this ln wrapped around it, so we can raise both sides as powers of e because that cancels out the natural log. So that's going to give me y equals e to the 8x plus c. Now we could tidy this up a little bit if we play around with our index laws. So we've got y equals e to the 8x plus c. Now an addition of two powers means that we can have the product of two different terms with the same base e but those two powers. What I mean is we can have e to the c times by e to the 8x. Because if I wanted to join these back together using the index law, I would end up with c plus 8x or 8x plus c. Now e to the c, c is just a constant and e is just a constant, so a constant to a constant is just going to be a constant. So what we do is we replace this e to the c with a. So I've got a, which is a new constant, and leaving us with e to the 8x. And we just say where a equals e to the c. Not that it really matters because a constant's just a constant, but we treat it as a, which is e to the c. And that's our answer. y is a e to the 8x. And this is a general solution because I've got this constant a in it and I don't know what that number is. So in general, all functions dy dx equals 8y are y equals 8e a e to the 8x and the a controls exactly what function we have. So let's go and have a look now at part b. Part b we have dy dx equals 5 square root of 2y. And if we do the same as we did with our first one, we can have dy on and bring the square root of 2y down equals 5 times and bring that dx over. So I've multiplied both sides by dx and divided both sides by the square root of 2y. And then I want to integrate both of these. Now the integral of the 5 dx is nice and easy, that's just going to be 5x, but our integral over here is going to be a little bit more complex. So to make it easier to work out what we need to do, I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of 2y to the power of a negative a half dy. And so I can see that I've got a power of a negative half, I've got 2y, this looks like I'm going to try and do a substitution style question. So I'm going to let u equal 
to y. And so du with respect to y is just going to be 2. So dy is going to be du on 2. So if I substitute these values in, I'm going to have the integral of u to the negative a half, and the dy is going to be replaced with du on 2, and that still equals 5x. So now we can do this integral, u to the negative a half, well we add 1 to the power, so we get u to the half, and we divide by the new power, so I'm just going to write the divide by a half over here. I've already got this a half there, so I'm just going to chuck it out the front. And so on the right side we got 5x, and I'll throw in the plus c now that I've done both my integrals. Tidying this up, well the half u to the half, this divide by a half becomes multiplied by 2. And so our half and our 2 cancel out, and we've got the 5x plus c over here. And so if I put the u back in and change this power of a half to a square root, I've got the square root, and u was 2y, so I've got the square root of 2y equals 5x plus c. And now I just need to isolate the y on this side, so if y is a function of x, so that means I can take the square of both sides, so that's going to leave me with 2y equals 5x plus c, but squared. And then to get the y on its own, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have a half outside of our 5x plus c, and that is all squared. And so now we're done. This is the general solution of the differential equation, dy dx equals 5 times the square root of 2y. This time... Our constant's not sitting at the front, it's trapped inside here, but that's okay. It is still part of our solution. So, if you've got differential equations where you've got the derivative of the function in terms of y, not x, so the numerator part of your derivative, then you've got to rearrange it so that you've got all your y terms on the left, any constants and things usually end up on the right, because there's no x terms just yet, but we have our dx, integrate both sides, and then you've got to rearrange it so that you isolate y on its own, and then tidy up perhaps any constants that you need to.